Good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing well. I really missed you. We are going to take a new lesson today. It's lesson 9. So open your book, page 119. Our lesson today is Hamoudi in Djibouti. Let's start. Hamoudi. Assalamu alaikum, dear friend Bakir. Bakir, wa alaikum assalam. Welcome to Djibouti, Hamoudi. It's nice to see you here. How long are you staying with us, Hamoudi? Hamoudi, it will be a quick visit. I only spend one day in each country I visit. I got an offer from the Saudi Airlines to spend one day in each Arab country. Bakir, so let me be your guide in this short stay. Let's get in my car. I'll take you to my home first to see my family. On the way there, you will see some landmarks of Djibouti. Hamoudi, I am anxious to know more about your country. Next page. <coughs> now, grade 3, we are going to learn about the location of Djibouti. Bakir is saying, Djibouti is an Arab country in the African Horn. Eritrea and Ethiopia lie in the north of Djibouti. Ethiopia and Somalia are in the south. Ethiopia is in the west and Aden Gulf in the east. Its population is almost 1 million. The capital of Djibouti is Djibouti City. Now look with me, Grade 3. This is Djibouti. All of this is Djibouti. Now, grade 3, I want from you to pick up the uh, neighboring countries of Djibouti from this map. Who can show them for me? Come on. Excellent. Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Somalia. As you can see, Eritrea in the north, Somalia in the south, and Ethiopia. Ethiopia is in the north and in the west and in the south. Why? Because all of this is Ethiopia. Okay? And in the east of Djibouti, there is Aden Gulf. And this is Aden Gulf. Okay. Let's continue. Hamoudi, what color is your flag? And what currency do you use? Bakir, our flag is blue, green, and white. And has a red star. Look with me, grade 3. This is the Djibouti flag. It is blue, green, white, and there is a red star. Okay. Our currency is the Djibouti franc. And this is the Djibouti currency, the Djibouti franc. Bakir, we are now in the European district. It's one of the most beautiful areas in Djibouti. Hamoudi, it looks so green. And this is the picture of the European district. Now, in the end of this page, I want to ask you about the Djibouti flag. What is the color of Djibouti flag? Great, excellent, grade 3. Blue, green, white, and has a red star. And what is the currency of Djibouti? Who can give me an answer? Super! The currency of Djibouti is Djibouti franc. Excellent. Next page.
back here. There is a masjid over there on the right. You will be surprised about its name. It is the oldest masjid in Djibouti. Hamoudi? Yes, it looks old. What is its name? Bakir, Al Hamoudi Masjid. Hamoudi. Oh no, don't tell me that. Al Hamoudi? It's not me, of course. Look, grade 3. This is a picture of Al Hamoudi Masjid. It is very old. And it is the oldest masjid in Djibouti. Hamoudi. Oh, look there. I can see a tiger. Over there. This is wonderful. Bakir. This is the National Forest Park. It is a huge oasis and a nature reserve. You can see many wild animals there. I will take you now to a wonderful place. That you will like it so much. Grade 3, I have a video for the National Forest Park for you. Let's see. Did you like it, grade 3? It's very nice. Hamoudi This is an aquarium. It's wonderful. Bakir, this is the tropical aquarium. You feel as if you are underwater among different fish. It's one of the best places of Africa. Hamoudi, you are right. I feel that I am underwater. Bakir, now grade 3, I want to see you. I want to show you this picture of the tropical aquarium. This is the tropical aquarium, as you can see. Here you can see many kinds of fish and you can feel like you're underwater. Back here, I will take you now to Lake Asal. It is the lowest point in on land of in Africa and the second lowest point on earth. Hamoudi, I really I read about Asal Lake. It's the second lowest point in the world after the Dead Sea. Bakir, you are right. It is located approximately 109 kilometers west of the nation's capital, Djibouti City. Look with me. This is Asal Lake. It's wonderful. Look. Also, I have two pictures. This is also a sad lake. And what is this? It is the salt.
Now we are going to know about the salt. Hamudi, I read that it is a very salty lake. Bakir, you are right, Hamudi. It is a very salty lake. And you will see salt everywhere. Imagine, Hamudi, they make animal statues from salt on the beach. Let's see. As I show you, this is a sad lake. And this is the salt. In a cell lake, and there is another picture of animal's head that made from the salt. This is the animal's head that made from the salt. It's fantastic. And these pictures. And this is an animal head built with the salt. So greatly, we are going to stop here. Goodbye.